Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy, and today we're going to be looking at a figure presented by Ultimate Soldier, produced by 21st Century Toys, and it's of a British infantryman from the uh, British 8th Army in North Africa. And he's wearing the pattern 37 tropical uniform. The um, Brody Mark II helmet. And the Brody helmet was developed by John Leopold Brody. I think he patented it in 1915. And it was uh, introduced and used for the first time in 1916. Uh the pattern helmet that you see here would have had a uh, canvas um, chin strap that was slightly elasticized so that you could uh, slip it over your chin without it uh, falling off. And he's holding a Type 4 Mark I uh, Lee Enfield uh, rifle, sometimes referred to as a smelly or short magazine uh, Lee Enfield and of course he has garrison boots gaiters and uh, stockings so this figure was sold in a on a blister card and it was just a basic figure with the helmet and uh, the rifle. You could also get these figures in um, a box set. However, the box set had a Bren gun instead of the uh, rifle that you see here. So how does the figure compare to um, the actual thing? So let's take a look at this book here. And this shows a corporal in the 1937 pattern uniform. You see the shorts go to the knee. However, on this one, they're way longer than that. But part of the problem with this one is that it's slipped off his hips. So uh, the back of his shorts, you could, you could actually see his buttocks and... <laughs> Thank you, Forrest. That was very nice. You're welcome. I could say his butt talks. Uh, so they're pulled down a little bit. They don't stay up on his hips very well. Uh, the shirt is more of an Africa core uh, reed green color as opposed to this Indian khaki. There you go. And, uh, of course, the figure is missing the, the P-37 web gear, which you see here. And it also did not come with the pattern 1908 bayonet. So let's take a look at what that might look like. And I think I have a photograph of, here we go, perfect. Here they are advancing. And what's odd about this picture, it, it appears that he has two pairs of gaiters on each leg, which I, I never noticed before until I looked at this picture. Now, the um, 1907 bayonet looked like this here. It's a vicious looking thing. And it was replaced by a bayonet that looks like a tent peg. It actually looks like a tent peg. The rifle, let's see if I can get you some info on the Lee Enfield. It was a 303 caliber. Uh, it had a muzzle velocity of 2,444. Magazine capacity, 10 rounds, and an operational range of 875 yards. The weight of the rifle without the uh, 
uh, magazine was just a little bit over nine pounds. And you can see it here with its bayonet and a bandolier, a um, canvas bandolier, bandolier. Now, Ultimate Soldier uh, kind of dropped the ball with the uniform. The, you, a lot of times I'm not very happy with their uniforms. However, their equipment I really like quite well. Uh, if you see here the detail, we'll move up close, and you compare it to the real thing, and you see it's very well done. Let's see if I can flip this without knocking everything over. Okay. Now to release the magazine, there's a little... I'm not even gonna say anything. You guys are used to it by now. Um, there's a little device right here that you press which releases the magazine. And this uh, sling here uh, when I bought it on eBay, uh, it was offered to me as a Canadian uh, web, khaki web sling. And if you look at his rifle, it's identical to the one that you see featured here. All right, guys, let's take a quick look. There's the Brody helmet. That helmet was replaced in 1944 by the turtle helmet and or the Mark III. I think it's called the Mark III. However, this helmet stayed in service for quite a while, even after the turtle helmet was introduced. And the turtle helmet was replaced in 1985. So it saw a long life from uh, of 40 years. And I believe this one did too, when you think about it, 1915 to 1945 is 30 years. That's a long time too. Oh, by the way, this rifle you see in the background is a Mauser. The, this is the Lee Enfield right there. Okay. And there he is, kind of looks like Prince Harry without a beard and without a witch. And he doesn't want to stand up. There we go. All right, so there's our ultimate soldier. British 8th Army Desert Rat. And um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a, a like, maybe leave a comment. Uh, if I goof something up, I would like to know. And uh, I appreciate your uh, taking the time to get Iggy with it. So uh, for those of you enlisted in the Iggy Army, I, I want to thank you for your continued support. So it's going to be a while before I get another video to you um, because of the holidays. But I'll try and get over the storage and dig some more things out as soon as I can. All right, you guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. I'm going to hit the dusty trail and I'll see you back at the ranch. Bye. Thank you.